If you saw in a previous video, I had borrowed a friend's observation hive. And when I did that, I decided at the same time, you know, I might as well make my own. So I used that as a model to make one myself. Most of the dimensions are very similar. And I drew it up on CAD. I will post this file, uh, a link to this file, and both the DWG file and the DXF file. Basically, it's a six foot long, 12 inch wide, that's trade size, board. The only thing my local home center had, um, the local home center rhymes with Home Depot, was um, in that was clear was popular. So this is a six foot by 12 inch wide piece of popular, but it's not 12 inches. It's only like 11 and a quarter. The pieces that are not from that basic board are these uh, plywood pieces which cover the hive. Obviously the plastic and the hinges. Everything else I made from that one board. Now to keep it interesting for you people out there that want to make one, I didn't lay it out, I didn't do the CAD on the board itself. But basically I figured out the widest piece and I think that's nine and a half and I just ripped the whole board six feet long, nine and a half wide and then cut all the longer pieces out of that and from all the scraps I made all the other little pieces. So how this differs from the other observation hive is I had a bunch of nukes lying around that I use so I decided to use a nuke box. So that's what you're seeing here is a regular nuke box. The only difference is I put a different bottom on. I just stapled it on temporarily so I can go back to using this nuke box when I want to. It's 100 degrees in my patio right now. So let me show you how this is made, the gist of it. Is that you have this outer frame. I made enough to do another one. So you have the outer frame which has two end pieces. That's that piece and that piece. And that screws onto a board which is the bottom of your observation hive, the top of your nuke. Now in the dimensions that I made on my drawing, this board is probably longer than you need because I found that every manufacturer, that the, it doesn't seem like they can agree on the size of nuke box that um, they produce. They're quarter inch longer, quarter inch wider, a little taller. Each one's a little different. So I made this a smidgen big in the drawing. You could always cut it down to fit whatever nuke box you're putting on. This thing here is a queen excluder from a full-size queen excluder and I just cut it down to fit this slot. And the slot is to allow the worker bees to come up into the upper frame which you put your queen in. There's these little boards on the ends which are these. They go in the end here that hold the frame. There's also a couple other shims that I don't have here. You need to put in a quarter inch piece of plywood. You can kind of see it here. Let me tilt this down. There's a little quarter inch piece of plywood on the end because everything's made out of this three quarter inch piece of wood. But if you put this over here, it's not long enough to support this frame. So you need another quarter inch for this frame to sit in. And that piece you can get out of the 
piece of plywood that you you're going to need to cut this close uh, the, the face cover so these two pieces slide in there you have the piece of plywood on the backs of those and then there's just these frames here up and down that hold in the plastic and then there's a little piece here now this one's too long you have to cut to length and that goes inside here and that's what your plastic rests against across the bottom it doesn't rest across anything on the top it's floppy on the top but it rests against these things here this thing here and then you have this thing to squeeze it in then there's a little screw here that you drill in and to this piece and that will hold the plastic in so it doesn't accidentally fall out and that's about it that's the basic top part of the hive there's little handles on the end and to make those easier to pick up I just beveled a piece of wood so that you know your hands don't slip off now for the front part to hold this cover on there's just two little pieces of wood and these are uh, rounded a little bit for I guess aerodynamics so this thing will fly so much faster you can make it however you want with the top on it let me clip this back on okay with the top on this board needs to be the height of this and then short enough to fit under the top and then what you do is you slide it in here on top of this board and then it falls down in there now the the one I copied had another screw to hold this board in I found that this is pretty good by itself so I'm not going to go through all the trouble of putting another screw in here if it becomes floppy then I'll do that and the hinges I bought from Amazon I'll uh, begrudgingly put a link in the uh, comments below I don't like doing that because these manufacturers come and go so quick the links are dead within you know two three months and then people complain you know they look at a video two years later and they complain that the links dead a word of warning regarding these latches um, in the link for Amazon these are stamped out of some very very thin metal and if you tighten these screws too much you'll deform them easily so be very careful when you put these in these are called chest latches you can find really nice brass ones for 30 to 40 dollars a piece these I think were something like 30 dollars for 16 of them or something um, so I got something quick and easy inexpensive but beware they are very very flimsy the main thing you want with these hinges is you have to have the little locking hasp here so you want to either put a lock on there or a piece of uh, a tie wrap or something so that you know the little kids can't come along and flip these up while you're not looking and let the bees out so there's one on each side of the top and one on each side of the or two on each side of the that hold the bottom down so I'm going to lift the this off there's nothing you've seen all that now the bottom of this nuke box you got to have air circulation so I put in a screen little screen in the bottom board and I added a couple of feet and this is just uh, stapled with really short staples this will pop right off if I want it um, but you need some way to get air under here air up here it comes in it goes out these holes that are in the top again if you saw my other video where I was complaining about the other manufacturer one of my things was the top frame came all the way up and was so close to these holes that you had no airflow 
So you want to make sure that when you're done, that this frame sits down standard B space, 3 eighths of an inch below this frame. Now in the, in the uh, one I copied, they have some other kind of extra little vent thing here. Um, I guess that's to keep a, you know, a kid from sticking his finger down in there and getting stung. You might want to put a, uh, something on there, something else to uh, keep kids from putting stuff in there. But for now, I'm going to leave it like it is. So that is a, an observation hive. Um, I don't know what they cost, but I always like to see if I can make stuff. Uh, if I was going to make 20 of these, I'd probably buy them because it's a lot of work. But I just wanted to see, go through the process, see what it was all about.